Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Today's case is about phaco emulsification in a brown cataract. It is advisable to size our capsular axis to about 6 mm whenever we are dealing with a hard brown cataract. This prevents from stress being transferred to the zonules and causing further complications when we are already dealing with a hard case. going to approach this nucleus with a direct chop technique and we're doing a slight modification of this technique in the sense that we're making a trench on one side and after rotating the nucleus for 180 degrees we're going to embed our phaco tip into this trench this partial trench and then attempt a direct chop So after failing in our first attempt, we rotated the nucleus slightly and we are trying again from a separate place. If you do not get a complete chop in the first attempt, rotation of the nucleus is the key and to try and attempt to get another chop from another place is the way to go about it. So we've managed to break the nucleus into several fragments and we're going ahead and emulsifying each of these fragments now. Because I'm working on a pretty high vacuum which is around 450 millimeters of mercury, we are getting good fallibility of the nuclear fragments. You will notice that I'm using my Y manipulator as a chopper. I'm completing all the partial chops that I had achieved previously and I'm separating the nuclear fragments from one another by lateral separation. This here is part of the posterior plate that was preventing a complete job and I finally managed to emulsify it. Some stubborn small pieces which are hiding behind the iris are further manipulated into the phaco tip and we are almost done with our nucleus emulsification. My preferred technique for cortical aspiration is the bimanual irrigation aspiration. A 
single piece hydrophilic acrylic iol is implanted and it is nudged into the bag and the overlap between the capsular excess margin and the optic is adequate. On the first post-operative day, the patient has an unneeded vision of 636 from a pre-operative vision of counting fingers 2 meters. There is some mild corneal edema. As you can see in this retro illumination picture, there are some Desmet's membrane folds. But these will clear up within a week post operatively. Thanks for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one.